Gaze, let us allow the mighty God, God the creator of the world, the universe, and the God who did not forget Africa. He made Africa and he put us in Africa. Above all, he has given us the grace to know him. Let us put our hands together for him. We thank him. Yes. God bless you who are clapping to God. Yeah, Chane. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for attending this conference, and I'm surely uh, convinced yeah, that God will bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Grace Room, for inviting us. They are our friends. Every time they need us, yeah, we are available. available. We share a lot in common. Put your hands together for Pastor Julien. God bless you. Uh, for the zeal and that high level dedication. Keep going and may the Lord richly bless you. My dear friend, Pastor Kabanda, God bless you. It's a blessing that we are together. I knew Pastor Julien before. She found a mini Bujumbura. We did not get so much in touch. We happened to become friends. I didn't know his heart. I got to know him later on. Okay. And then we became friends. Because you know, we resemble each other a little bit. He's a little darker and much lighter. But we share quite a lot in the common. He loves cows like I do. He loves milk he like me. Mona, he lived. He had cows. Every time he's preaching, he will always refer to cows, same as me. <laughs> yeah, we thank it is a family that we stand together and we share quite a lot in common. We thank all the men of God and women of God, Pastor Pazi Thank you for standing in the kingdom and for standing We haven't done it perfectly well, but we are coming to that. And we know we will come to that. Uh, I thank God for our Fabrice worship team. Fabrice and Maya, I'm glad to see you. Let me thank God for your lives. Stand up. Yeah. Yeah. When I saw them, quite a lot of remembrances came into they my mind. No so they were serving, we were serving in Burundi, sharing microphones Rose. with the They are such wonderful people, and I loved them. Let's, them again. let's clap for them again. I'm glad to see you. So I remember the good times of, of the past. May the Lord bless you, worship team. Amen. Amen. Stand up, please. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen
most of the times when I'm talking about praise and worship, I talk about amen. So that gift of worship came to and covered the count of Burundi. It crossed over to Rwanda. But amen was the career of that gift. Every time I talk about it, I go back into the history of revival of what has happened and what is yet to come. I've been talking about it. That when revival is yet to come, all the the forgotten gifts and talents will always get back in life. The apostles, pastors, prophets will come back for the saints to be made whole. And the it is not yet 30 years for the apostle to come back to life. Another, another thing that has to be reborn is the culture of worship which has to uh, conquer the nation and catch all the saints yeah it has just come back to life for the for about 25 years here. In this nation, it is coming to a good level. The level of worship is getting to a promised level. And that's why so every time I see him I remember those days and, and we shall surely come together as men of God and appreciate him we shall appreciate you amen I never want to forget good things that someone does in the kingdom you became a great pillar in the kingdom and we need to appreciate that more are yet to come back to life. Got your Bible and stand up on your feet and we shall read. And we shall read the word of God. Chronicles, Second Chronicles, chapter 5, Morongo, Nakane, chapter 5 and verse 14. So that the parish priests could not continue ministering because the cloud for the Lord, because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. First Samuel chapter 4 and verse 21. Yita ikabodi ati ichuwahiro gishize kuri Israeli. Avivugishko nuko isando kuyima na enyazwe kandi nibyasebu kwe no mogabowe. Arafoga ati ichuwahiro gishize kuri Israeli. For First Samuel 4.21 Then she named the child Ichabod Saying the glory has departed from Israel Because the ark of God had been captured And because of her father-in-law and her husband And she said the glory has departed from Israel For the ark of God has been captured Please let us clap our hands for the word of God. Thank you. Father, I surrender this place to you. Come and speak to these people. Manifest your glory and appear all in this place. For the glory of our Lord Jesus.
Let us talk about the glory of God. There are people in the technicians. Don't dare touch my microphone because we will meet outside. Because if you dare touch my microphone, we will meet outside. It has happened somewhere in another church. Uh-huh. I've been amazed by this thing. Where the glory of God fills the temple until when priests cannot manage all Other versions say they failed to enter there. It had become too much they could not contain it. The prayer that I made today. Why do you want us to engage into this one week conference? I I had a voice talking to me. It is the week of restoring the glory of God. We are restoring the glory of God in the people's lives. This is not a convincing story. It's the truth. When you come looking, seeking God, you find him. I love those that love me. And they that seek me diligently shall find me. Those who came diligently seeking God shall find him. And those who came taking pictures, they will get pictures. If you came to seek for people that have been missing, you see them. But glory be to God that a majority came seeking God. This glory that you came seeking, you are going to find it. You shall not go back the same way. You do not just come by yourself. You don't have the much few of to come to this conference. You are not even much closer to this temple. You are not even much zealous. But there are people that God prepares for a certain season. And he puts the courage into them to push them. You came because the master of season pushed May God recognize your coming. May, may God know that you are here. And may you encounter the glory of God. When the glory comes, power, the human power diminishes. You remain empty. And you get filled with the power of God. You begin to do things you could not do. You begin to hear what you could not hear. You begin to speak what you could not speak. I declare receive in the name of Jesus. When the glory of God comes, it hits down the powerful. When the glory of God descends, it takes away all the enemies. That is what it is in the Bible. Wherever the glory of God fell, uh, extraordinary things were manifested. Extraordinary things were manifested. But this is the fear that I had. I looked many places in the Bible. It shows 
that many times people became careless only to realize that the glory of God has shifted. People stay into customs but without the glory. People stay with the programs and the doctrines without the glory of God. They stay with the books. But the owner of books is nowhere to be found in the books. That is why I ask myself, is there God or is not? And God told me, God has shifted out of many families. God has shifted out of many families. Glory is gone away. For you to know what amazes me is that God and the, the glory shifts when the people don't realize that. The first time we are aware I read, I read in this chapter and realized there was too much carelessness upon the people of Israel, entire nation. Or the priests of Israel. They were attacked to a, to a level. Where they remained with the Ark of the Covenant, but the master of the Covenant was not in the Ark. One thing that amazed me. They remained with the Ark without God. They have been having the ark for many years without knowing that God is not there. Only to realize that they don't have God when the Philistines have attacked them. When they hit them and attacked them, they saw them, their arm is failing. They said, and they say now that our armies have failed let's call the Ark of the Covenant so that it will become heavy on the enemies they went to maybe they went to Shiloh to bring the Ark of the Covenant they called also the priests to come along with the Ark of the Covenant and let us kill all our enemies. When they brought the Ark of the Covenant, only to reach the 30,000 armies. Then they made noise, the loudest noise. And the Philistines said, now we are in danger. This noise we have heard with Israelites, their God attacked. How shall we survive the attack? And, and the Philistines leader said, now we have to die as men. Let's stand our ground. And fight. They went down to the battleground. As soon as they started fighting, than 10,000 of Then when they kept advancing, 10,000 more died. Then they attacked the last group which also had the Ark of the Covenant and they defeated them. What has happened? Israel has lost the battle. The Ark of the Covenant is stolen. A few survived by running. One man survived the battle and went back to tell the story. 
When he came through the gates, he told people of the story of what has happened. The women, men, and old men cried in the cities. He went up to priest Eli where he was seated. Then he told Eli, Israel has lost the battle. Hophina, your son, and Phinehas, your sons have also died. As if that wasn't, that is not enough. The Ark of the Covenant is also stolen. Listen to the story of the Ark of the Covenant. The priest fell down from the chair, from his seat, and died. Because of the sadness of the bad news he had heard. The ark of the covenant is stolen out of us. His glory is taken away. He fell down and died. The story came to the, uh, the daughter in law. And she, she was told that the armies of Israel have died. Your husband and your, your, your in law have all died. And the ark of the covenant is also gone. When she heard about the sad news, the sad, the ark of the Covenant is, is that true or you're kidding me? Listen to a woman who is considering who is saddened by the stealing of the Ark of the Covenant to the husband. When she heard about that she, she was pregnant and the pregnancy oh, was not oh, due. Oh, oh. She immediately fell down and gave birth. The sorrow and the sadness of the stealing of the Ark of the Covenant caused her to give birth prematurely. She died as if she was breathing her last. And the women came by her and said, Take heart. Your child is alive. Keep strong. She rose up. When she rose up, she looked at her child. He was a boy. And she gave her a name. Her a name. I call you Ichabod. Meaning there is no glory. Israel has no glory because God has moved away. Sometimes I ask myself, do we have God in our churches or he has moved? Do we still have God in our families or God has gone? A most pleasing story that I read about. The Philistines have stolen God. Okay. God is stolen. Repeat after me, God is stolen. Eh? And the Philistines rejoiced. And they said, Our God is He has given us victory over Israel, and we have taken away their God. How shall they rise again now that we have their God? But I thank God that we have the God who has died. We have a working God. Our envious God. He envies his glory. When he came to Philistines, 
Listen to me. They stole the ark of the covenant, but God was not in the ark. Because if God was in the ark of the covenant, they would not dare touch you. Because no one can dare point you. God had moved out of Israel. So they stole the empty ark. But when the empty ark came to Israel, God was angry. The ark where I sleep. Who can dare it? Philistines cannot take it. At least those ones who committed sin. But as for you, you are sinners. It's, a, it's different to commit sins and to be a sinner. These ones have committed sins. And I ran away from them. As, as for you, you are fresh sinners. Now, amazingly, when they took him there, they took the Ark of the Covenant. Normally, a king receives a king. A king receives the Afandi. Even a, a street kid, when a new street kid comes on the street, he's received a new street kid. A God has to receive another God. Now let's have two gods in one house. They took Jehovah into the house of Dagon. Now this is our God and this is the Jewish God. And they bid farewell. Good night. Sleep well God. As soon as they close the door. Our God the creator. He says where you sleep they worship me. Dagon will you worship me or you will not. Dagon and Dagon was like, I don't know about Inna this kind of worship. Niwe. God has to be worshipped. Now that you cannot Aha. worship me, me, so one God has to take control. Because it is written it there is only one God. God. He cannot be mistaken, he cannot be mixed up. Mne. Only one God has to reign. Where I am, I am one. Even here, I have to be here alone. So try to worship me or get out. Dagon failed to worship and failed to run out. And the Lord touched him. And he hit him. When God hits Dagon, he fell down. He fell down first down. And all the gods of the Gentiles fell down. Our God is going to raise us. This is the week of raising the God, Jehovah. And the gods of Gentiles must bow. The God of Almighty has said so. This God, whatever is not going in power, whatever is not God, is not going, is going to bow. You fought and failed. You tried and failed. The Philistines overcame you. But Jehovah is coming to do it him alone. He's coming to do it alone. Israel has failed. But Jehovah is coming alone. He's going to, he wants his glory. He's seeking for his glory. He wants his glory. Okay, Do you worship me or not? He hit him and he fell first down. Your God that I All the gods in your homes. This week they are facing the God Almighty. Meet God Jehovah. He is a 
He's a self-sufficient God. He's a fighting God. You don't put him down and raise him up. He's self-sufficient. What failed the Israelites? He did it himself. They walk in the morning, they came and raised up their God. And they told him, please stand your ground and prove to us you are a man. And they told him to reconcile. The Lord said, He was like, Get out quickly, I will show him, I will crush him. Whatever is not planted by God, whatever was not planted by God, this is the week of smashing. This is the week of smashing. He is going to smash. Listen. God hit Dagon, he crushed him, he smashed him, he finished him in pieces. When they came, he, his, their God had no arms. But the Bible says, Can I give you arms? And I remain without. Can I give you eyes? And I have no eyes. Can I create legs? And I fail to walk. He's a walking God. He's the God with arms. He's the God who seeks for his glory. He's the God who fights his battles. When they, they realize that God has failed, he's been crushed. The priest. The priests of Dagon said, Now we know that you are not called. This is the week where the sorcerers and the witches must know that there is another God. A mighty God like a buffer who is like a lioness. He fights his battles and overcomes every other God. He's coming to crush every other thing, every other idol. He's going to crush everything that is called, that calls itself God. They ran away. They don't come back. The Bible says up to now they have not come back. They are still running away from they are still running away. Wherever they go, they say, We don't have art. We now see the real God. That is why we should not go back. We shall find a way we meet with this real God. The next day was like, now our God is crushed. What can we do? Our, our, their God was crushed in pieces. God, Jehovah, ah, the glorious God, the glorious God, he remained alone in the house. He is going to remain in the house alone. He is going to remain in the houses alone. All other gods are going to wipe be wiped ah, away. He is going to wipe them away. He is going to remain alone in your life. He is grabbing your heart. He's attacking your home. He's taking our nation. Put up your hands for him. Mm. 
After wiping away all other gods. And it was like they haven't truly understood me. I must show them who I am. That I can I fight battles for myself without the armies of Israel. The next morning, he sent the spirit from his nostrils through the whole town of Ekron. The next morning, all the men, women, children had reproach. They all developed the reproach. And the doctors could not heal the leprosy. The sorcerers could not heal the leprosy. When a big number had died. Isn't this the God that we brought? Isn't this the God that we brought? He's going to kill our all women and children. The governor of Akron invited the governor of God. He said, We are finished. If you don't worship him, his glory will do you bad. Those who don't worship him will meet his glory. And the worshippers shall be raised by his glory. I send this God back to where he came from. To the gates of Gath. He sent his spirit to the gates. He went ahead of them to the town of God. Only to reach there, they had all contacted leprosy. And the governor said, this one has come in another room. Everywhere he, went, he goes, he must be worshipped. When he comes down, there are no praises and worshipers. People will be dealt with. So they were no one to worship him, and they, he has to attack them with the leprosy. Let there be the meeting of governors. Let, let, let us find a way we deal with this God, or else I send him back to Ekron. The citizens of Ekron were like, no. That God who is becoming heavy on you. That glory that has done with you like that. Don't bring him here. God has brought up confusion. What can we then do? And he says, let's let this God. Let's find a way. We send him back to where he comes. Where they know him better. Let us take him back. Those who worship the unknown gods. Those gods shall be put to shame. God is going to be revealed amidst his people. It's like... How are we going to send him back? He never goes like that until you offer an offering. Until you give him an offering. How can we offer him? Send, get the offerings. Two cows. Firstborn that I have given birth for only one time. Cows are good, have, they have helped people from long time ago. They help people from long time ago. The two cows take them ahead of you. Then put the, 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 other, they put them on the, on the, on the, the wheel. And put the ark on the wheel. And then take the golden materials. Take the golden offerings. But make them, you fashion them. Make them, you fashion them. 
Make them into we the images asana, of the leprosy. Let them come Gatubazi. in the images of the leprosy. Uh-huh. Other, other gold materials. Muzichure. Make them in their five rat images. Then take these leprosies on the ark. Take the five rats and put them on the ark. Let the governors accompany the ark. Then on the way to Bethsabeth, and it goes by the car and the wheel. Then you shall know it is the glory of God that has hit us. Then you shall know it is the glory of God that has hit us. If they take another path, it shall not be him. They put the cows ahead to come around on the roundabout. They turned to Bethsabesh. They ran with the wheels. The governors followed. Over three months, God is carrying out an operation with the Philistine nation. Oh my God. I invite you, my God. That you come and carry out an operation in our families. The Shebarites came to meet him. Come. Listen to this interesting story. In this three months, there were too much crying amid the Israelites. Women were crying not for their dead husbands. They are crying because of the taking away the glory of God. Seeing women crying for the glory of God. They were wailing and crying. And, and the wailing and crying for the glory of God. That that's why God attacked the Philistines. He said that the wailing and the tears of the Israelite has become heavy on the heart of God. I wish we could get to crying women in our churches. They're crying for the glory of God. Crying for the glory of God. The wailing and the tears of these women of Israel. They cried from this one who has given birth prematurely. Starting with her, God said, I'm coming back to my ark. We have a God who never ignores the tears of the saints. The tears of the spirit attract the praises of God. Now I want to tell you this story. I think the first time I met Pastor Julian and Kabanda in 2015 in the revival conference Julian cried she cried and in the night she called me I can't stop crying the next day I came back to preach and she said I can't stop crying is there any way, any way you can stop these tears and then the next day I spoke to Pastor Kavanda I said that my wife is still crying there are things I can't forget then he asked me what can I do when it happens like that and I said I had such tears for almost a year. Ibuka, grass room was not yet. Grass room was not yet. Then I told her what consequences that tear. It is only one. It is only one. It is only one. It is only one. It is Preach day and night. Ubgirise mu muhanda kuko mu rusengero gati bahora yo. Preach on the streets because in the church we are not ubgirise hesha masaho boko. Try to preach as many hours as possible. No tabikora gurcho. If you don't do it, uzarira uruhama safasu. You shall cry until your eyes are wet. 
You can't stop it like okay. that. And I, told, I don't know. I know such kind of tears. Then you know that there is tears. I mean the spirit of God ah, is in the atmosphere. And God is angry with the two men in sins. And God is going to raise you up. I can never because I knew that is what happens when times are like that. There are tears that bring the glory of God. Oh God. Oh God. God. Imagine a God missing his home. For three months, God is missing his home. He has fought battles and is now on the way back. While in their fields, they see the ark of their God. Oh, I pray that in this week, even those who are in the fields of Rwanda let them, let them see the glory of God coming back even those seated in the offices let them see the ark of the glory coming back even the shepherds in the mountains let them realize the glory of God coming back and then they put their hope they reign at once. And they say that the ark of the glory has come. Arise, arise with your children and meet you. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. This is the week of receiving the glory of God. The week of receiving the glory of God. I see families receiving. I see girls receiving. I see men receiving. I see women's tears being wiped away by the glory. It is coming to wipe your tears. The tears of women are going to be wiped away by the return of the glory. When the glory returned, their tears were wiped. Take the story back and tell the wailing women. The week of receiving the glory of God that wipes our tears is here. The glory is back. The ark of the covenant is back. It has come back with the glory. Let us cry. Help me. Let us cry. We need and we miss the glory of God. We miss the glory of God. We miss that glory. They met him and they rejoiced. They hugged the ark. I wish you would see what I'm seeing. I wish you would see how it is coming into your life in amazing glory. Ayo, eh, Bonimidiango, Erimumi, Shima, you, Kumuchuki, Shira. 
Families that have been darkness are receiving light. And I saw wipe, the tears being wiped away. How the glory is bringing and restoring power into the lives of people. How great women are receiving this glory. How amazing it is that men are going to speak amazingly about this glory. Oh, how families are going to raise children in the glory of God. And the glory is coming back into your homes. God is coming back to your homes. Jesus, come back home. Come back to your home. Come back to our homes. Come back to Rwanda. Come back to the nation of Rwanda. Come back to Africa. Who can wipe away the tears of Africa? Glory is coming back to Africa. People are going to worship the true God. Good times are coming. This is only pregnancy. This is pregnancy. God is bringing people together. Women are disturbed. And, and they are losing themselves. This is the this is the pregnancy. These are labor pains in these abides to be born. Labor pains. These are labor pains. The child is yet to be born. The child is about to be born. He's about to be born. He's coming back. And the tears of women. And the tears of men of faith. He is going to attract the glory again. The, day, the days of glory are coming back. I see people speaking in tongues while driving on the streets. I am seeing many fields. They are filled in their offices. They are, they are filled in the Holy Spirit doing their job. I am seeing women going to the markets. Going, they are speaking in tongues. They are speaking in tongues and they are prophesying to the sailors. They are, they are prophesying the sailors and they are speaking to them about their lives and they are leading people into salvation I am seeing it happening and this nation is going to feed other nations the nation is going to feed other nations it is going to feed with the nations with peace and is going to feed them with the beauty of the glory of God. This nation is providing peace. And the church is going to give revival to other nations. You are going to be the career of the glory of God. You are going to take it from here. People are, going to, people are going to start coming from all over the world. They are coming here to fetch. They are going to fetch glory. This, this year. In this very nation.
The Lord is coming back. Come, coming back in his glory like David restored him. David is a man who restored the glory of God in Israel. He came to meet the Ark of the Covenant and gave it as a blessing to the nations. When he, and when he reached the ark there, the glory of God put on hold every protocol of the Jewish culture. The glory of God is going to put on hold every protocol, every religious protocol, and the glory of God will take control. David took it up and every protocol was put to home. He brought it into the ark of in the tent of the meeting and it was not acceptable. Where there was only one priest accepted to enter, everyone was allowed to enter. Because the glory was too much. They stopped the protocol. And the, the tent of the meeting, the tent of David was entered by everyone. That is why that is why God said, I will return at the tent of David like the fallen one. Because it had the glory that everyone went there to fetch. The glory of the tent of David is coming back. He brought God and gave it to all the Jews. And every man, every man went to fetch the glory. It is happening to us. It is happening in us. The glory of God is going to lead us. Every canon nature is dying. Every protocol is dying. Glory is trying to take the steering. And we are going to be led by the glory. And we shall be the new changed people that looks like God, that speaks like God. That has put away every anguish. Every cloth is taken away. Righteousness is restored. Desired by nations because of the glory. Stand up on your feet, everyone. Ay, 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 yes, sir. Mm, mm, mm. mm. <gasps> the tears calling the glory. I hear the tears. The tears loud. Return home, God. We are crying, return home. We want to take you home. Oh, Ark of the Glory. Come, we need to take you home. Come, we need to take you home. We miss you for long. Our parents miss you. Our children miss you. Our families miss you. The church misses you. Come, glory, come. Come, glory, come. Come, glory, come. Come, glory, come. 
Let every power of Philistines be defeated. Let every Philistines power be defeated. That he receive your glory in us. Wow. Do it, Jesus.
of him.